I posted a recent tweet saying that I'm very excited or that I'm getting excited about penetration testing because I was um, I uh, actually logged into the attack defense platform and I actually saw that they have like 2200 labs right now and um, I was very excited about the new stuff that's here and I'm actually really looking forward to get into uh, them so let's see if this is this going it's going I saw the um, cloud security here somewhere which I think is really important so you have the AWS cloud security and you have like uh, two four six sections you have the IAM which is identity and access management which is really important so I don't know if you understand but a great majority of the internet runs on AWS so if you know AWS as a cybersecurity professional you're gonna have a lot of work provided that you can show your work and that you have an ability for companies and people to actually approach you in terms of consultations and also penetration testing so you have all these labs here so in the IAM section you have two four six eight ten then you go into the S3 so this is storage uh, you have so S3 stands for three S's, simple storage service, S, S, S. So you have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. You have 13 um, scenarios here, which are probably really interesting. And you have DynamoDB, so there's database management. You have another six of them here. These are probably... I don't know the level of, uh, let's actually click on one of them to see uh, the level of difficulty. What I like about the attack defense guys is that uh, these labs are actually really like real world scenarios unlike uh, CTF-ish platforms, different CTF-ish platforms that are out there. And I kept on saying and I keep on saying that this. Uh, it seems that they're not good with uh, updating their footers. So here it says copyright 2018, 2019. Uh, another thing that I want to say is that attack defense is a paid uh, subscription. I think it's 35 or $40 a month, but in this subscription you get, you also get access to their, um, to their courses, which aren't in my view, aren't uh, the most up-to-date courses because some of the courses are from 2013 so you guys at attack defense and pentester academy you better be updating your courses so that you have more people on your platforms uh okay where were we dynamo db then you have the api gateway another six scenarios Lambda. I'm really excited about this because this provides actual hands on uh, experience with AWS. So you have two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven scenarios plus databases, other types of databases, maybe RDS. Yeah, so you have RDS, SQL injection, DynamoDB, DocumentDB. So another six scenarios in total maybe 80 to 100 scenarios all having to do with AWS I think you could get a good level of experience by only going through these and I think that they also give you sort of a badge if you complete all of them let's see let's look at the verifiable badges something with cloud security and its title nothing or I have issues with reading network memory recon t-shark so I don't see any cloud uh, badges but in any case I think this is really interesting and I think I will be actually going I will be starting to do 
as long as my time permits, I will be starting to go through each of these scenarios in future videos. So let me actually know what you think um, in the comments. And we will be doing this um, with Attack Defense Labs. Because I haven't looked on other platforms, but uh, I'm just uh, I'm trying to take a little bit of a time off from machine learning as uh, I it, it's been into my main focus for the past I would say couple of months so uh, I'm starting to get really excited about cybersecurity the cybersecurity side of things and also about the fact that uh, there is a good bridge between cybersecurity and machine learning and uh, there are a lot of potential applications that can be built by combining these two fields. But to start off, we'll just be doing some sort of uh, labs here with the cloud security because AWS and Google seem to be ruling the uh, hood, if I can put it that way, when it comes to internet infrastructure. So let's see where this goes.